Hello, and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Ta da! Well, there we have it. Two, well, heads of red cabbage, really. Um, I've taken all the leaves off this one, and I've got a few leaves left on this. I'm now going to go and, um, well, I think I'll pickle them. I've got a couple of little ones left. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to use those on Christmas Day. I'm going to leave them in, uh, keep an eye on them, and hopefully, they'll grow a bit more, which is very exciting. Now, pickling really easy apparently you just chop them up into slices shredded i think is a posh terminology for it so you shred your red cabbage up you put them in a bowl or a colander and uh, well sprinkle liberally with salt and leave overnight or for at least two to three hours if you don't don't want to do it overnight leave them overnight the salt works its magic on the red cabbage and then the next day wash them off so it's quite a long process so this is going to go in overnight tonight with the salt all over it and then tomorrow I can wash it off. It's already pre-chopped and it literally goes straight into the jar with the pickling vinegar. And there you are, red cabbage ready for Christmas. There's nothing like a nice salad with a bit of red cabbage on the side. Well, I'll take some photographs of course and uh, well, I look forward to finishing this over the next couple of days. Well, what an adventure, <laughs> pickling red cabbages. Um, so I chop it up into, the, into shredded pieces as you're supposed to do. And then what you do is you, you, you layer it with salt. You, I put mine in a colander and I put it in a bowl in the sink and left it overnight, covered of course. And uh, the salt softens your red cabbage and also takes some of the moisture out. So it's just not all water. So that's quite a, a, a process. You can leave it just a couple of hours, but I left it overnight. And then of course I popped it in the uh, pickling vinegar and that will be left now for a week or so just so again a bit like the beetroot absorbs all the beautiful flavours from the pickling. I've got about a jar and a half so I've got another jar in the house. This is quite substantially full so I'm really looking forward to having this with a salad or even on a sandwich with some uh, some beautiful hand carved ham. Don't that be lovely? Um, you know, red cabbage to me is Christmas. It's funny, isn't it? I really do love my red cabbage. And luckily I've saved some so we can have it beautifully um, sautéed on Christmas morning, which would be really nice. Now, the history. Where did red cabbage come from? And for the first time ever, I think, on this show, it actually came from Europe. The Celts and the Nords, they grew it uh, along 600 BC. Uh, the marauding Celts brought it with them but it wasn't until about the 14th century when the Romans got hold of it that it actually became very popular across Europe itself. We didn't get it or the first writings of it in anything in this country again was about 16th century time and uh, it was described then as the red cabbage that we like today a, a deep pepper flavoured they call it and it is that's why I think that's why I like it so much it's really peppery and the red cabbage is completely different to the green cabbage in the fact that the heads are a lot tighter and also there's less water in the actual plant itself and so become much more crispier which is rather lovely and then of course once we got it in this country people loved it although I say people loved it maybe the peasants would <laughs> would have it it didn't reach the tables of the aristocrats until the 16th century so do you like your red cabbage? I certainly do. And funny enough, and so there's Janice down there near Glastonbury. Do you remember Janice's beautiful red cabbages? I mean, they're at least five, six, seven times bigger than mine were. So Janice, I hope you did lots with your red cabbages. Oh. Once again, thanks for watching Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Ta-da for now.